Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. Thanks for tuning in once again to 95.3 PPR. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Blaster. Now, I was able to pick up Blaster from an online toy store that I have never bought anything from before. Big Boy Collectibles out of New York. I ordered Blaster from them on Monday for retail price plus shipping, and he arrived on my doorstep today, Wednesday. So you talk about some fast shipping, they must have a space bridge. Now, let's take a quick look at Blaster in the packaging. We got Blaster right there behind the plastic window, Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom, and some fantastic artwork of Blaster, both in boombox mode and robot mode. Gotta love the Kingdom artwork. On the back of the packaging, we got Blaster once again in robot mode, boombox mode, and there he is, ejecting eject. And there we have eject right there in robot mode and cassette mode. On the side of the box, we got more of that fantastic kingdom artwork that we've all grown to love. So now, without further ado, let's get Blaster open up out of this packaging and check him out. But first, I have a special request from Lisa, who wants to hear that fantastic Patriot Prime Reviews theme song. And don't forget, if it ain't metal, it's crap! Now, once you get Blaster and Eject all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see they do come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. And come on, honestly, did you think I was going to do the DJ voice through the whole video. Blaster also comes with a trading card, and here it is, the last figure with the Kingdom line, and I get Dinobot again. I swear, all I get is the Ark and Dinobot. Oh well. Blaster also comes with his rifle, and then of course you get Blaster and Eject, who is packaged in his cassette mode. So let's go ahead and take a look at Eject first. Well, right off the bat, I can tell you what I don't like about Eject. Why in the world did they make him out of translucent plastic? That just makes no sense to me whatsoever. As you can see, he's translucent blue plastic pretty much 80% of his cassette mode. He does have some nice painted details right there that kind of match the G1 look. Of course, flip G1 around and you've got your cassette tape. And of course, let's see. Yeah, Kingdom Eject is just a little bit smaller than the G1. Well, hello there. I forgot about how he transforms. That's cool. Get that head back down there. No more surprises. So this is pretty much all there is to Eject in his cassette mode. Uh, let's compare him to a Siege cassette. And they look to be exactly the same size so that's cool and of course you can put him inside blaster's chest just push the button in right there and i've discovered if you put eject in with the gray side down he goes in a lot better so put him inside blaster's chest shut him up and there you go and i actually like how he looks in blaster that's pretty cool looking so let's see while well, we got blaster here let's see if the siege cassette will fit 
slide it in, shut it up, and yep, there you go. So that adds a little bit more playability to Blaster. So now let's go ahead and get Eject Transform. Looks to be a fairly simple transformation. Let's see. Here's the top. This is where the head is. So we'll go ahead, head right there, get your fingernail in, and get the head out. Rotate it. So there we go. Take the legs, and you're just going to bring them down. And then rotate them around like so. And then just bring the arms down. And there you have Eject in robot mode. And once again, I hate the translucent plastic. Love the head sculpt. The head sculpt looks very much like his G1 counterpart. I like that. That's I love any time you got these great G1 throwbacks. Then, of course, as I showed earlier, you've got the paint applications that match up with the chrome on the OG. Now, as far as articulation is concerned, very tight joints, but the arms can do a complete 360. They can go out, they can go in. There is an elbow bend, elbow rotation. Legs can go forward, they can go back. There is a knee bend and a knee rotation. Let's see the head. Yep, the head can also do a complete 360. So pretty cool little figure. I just really wish he wasn't translucent plastic. So now let's compare Eject here to his completely transformed Generation 1 counterpart. So yeah, I love the throwbacks. Now for any of you 3D printing gurus out there, he does have the ports right there on the side of the arms. So I think you could make some pretty sweet looking G1 inspired weapons for him. So there you go, guys. There you have Eject. So now let's take a look at Blaster. My first impressions once I got Blaster out of the packaging was wow. He looks so good and so much like his Generation 1 cartoon counterpart. Taking a closer look at the figure, just look at that head sculpt. Great facial features. He's got the silver forehead, the red helmet, the yellow chest with the angled uh, window. That looks so good. And the chest mechanism is spring-loaded. But be warned, you don't push down. You push in, and it pops right out. Of course, you saw how that worked just a while ago. And if you look on the inside, lots of nice molded details. Moving on down the figure... More sculpted details all over. I mean, he looks so good. I love the speakers in the legs. I mean, that's pretty much dead on to the Generation 1 toy, which was a beast of a G1 figure. So, yeah, that looks great. Though I do like the fact that they gave Blaster his G1 cartoon head opposed to his G1 toy head. Now, the G1 toy head is how he appeared in Marvel Comics. Another thing I like is, check this out, Blaster's weapon is very similar to his G1 weapon. It even has the circle right there in the center. Of course, it's a port where you can attach a weapon or a battle master, but it is just so close to that G1, even has the scope. I love it. And of course, you can put this in Blaster's hand. We'll go ahead and put in the left hand because I want to show you that the right hand has a pointer finger molded in. So it kind of make it look like he's pressing his own buttons to eject his cassette warriors. Let's get G1 out of the way. Another thing I'm really thankful for is that Blaster is a completely new mold. When I first saw him announced, I was worried we was going to get kind of a sound wave remold, but no, completely new figure. And that is awesome. Now, of course, here he is with his nemesis, Netflix Soundwave, and Blaster is just a little bit taller, which I wish they were the same size, but man, what are you going to do? I'm still not going to complain because this guy is awesome. So let's go ahead and get into some articulation. The head is on a ball joint, can look up, it can look down, it can do a complete 360. The arms can do a complete 360 as well. They can go out, they can go in. There's an elbow bend, elbow rotation. No wrist rotation, but the wrist can go in 
and out slightly due to transformation. He does have a waist rotation. Legs can go forward, they can go back. I keep hitting those buttons. There is a butt flap that if you want the legs to go all the way back, you're gonna have to move that butt flap out of the way. There is a thigh rotation. There is a knee bend. I think I showed this out and in. There's also ankle tilt. So lots of articulation for the guy. He loses the wrist articulation, but oh well, he still looks awesome. And I love this figure. I just can't quit raving about him. Back of the figure, lots of more molded details on the back with lots of Battlemaster ports. I mean, you could load Blaster up if you'd like. And really, there's no hollowness on the back of the figure aside from the legs. So great, great robot mode. So let's go ahead and get him transformed into boombox mode. And it's fairly easy transformation. First thing we'll do is this back section here. There is a door that you open up and just go ahead and fold the head down, shut that up, gets the head out of the way. The arms, you wanna bring the arms straight out like so, I swear, <laughs> I keep hitting that. You see the buttons work really well. So once the arms are straight, you're gonna bring the wrists up and over. Actually, you should hear a click. Get those arms straight like so, bring the wrists up. And now you're going to rotate and bring the arms around like so. So arm down, bring, bring that up. And there you go. So you got that look going on right there. Now down here on the legs where the speakers are, you're going to push in and these speakers are going to flip around. So you got like a speaker here, you're going to flip it around and maybe that's a tweeter or something. <laughs> I'm not sure. Then back of the figure, you're going to open these doors up on the back of the legs and these little panels right here, you're going to flip up. Go ahead and rotate at the waist. And now you're gonna bring the legs out or rotate these around like so. So you got these speaker sections now facing forward. Go ahead and push the toes in. You got nice soft ratchets. And now you're gonna bring these legs up and you got this tab right here and where the wrists of the hands were, I'm not sure if the light can catch it. See the slot? You wanna to try to get this tab into that slot. Can be kind of tricky. So it's hard to see too, just kind of go by feel. So popped right in. And now what you're going to do is collapse this whole section onto the blaster's body. So you fold the leg up into the body. Let's go ahead and bring the other leg over. Get that locked in place because what you want to do is you have to get these locked in. There's always one that's going to give you a fit. You got the butt flap now that is going to attach to these tabs right there. So that will lock the legs in place. So now you're gonna fold these sections up and you wanna to try to get that wrist to go right in that slot right there. Sometimes it takes just a little bit of manipulation. There we go. And so once this is collapsed, there is a tab right there. Bring these in and that'll lock in place. So there's one side, let's go ahead and get the other. This is such, I don't know why this one, for some reason, catches. There we go. Now lock that in place. So we're almost done. Now, this is really cool. You're gonna take these sections on the back, lift up, they're tabbed in, lift these up, swing them up and over, and then you're gonna slot this one here into this one, which forms the handle, and there you have Blaster in boombox mode. And how sweet is this? I love the details on this. This is so cool. Hell yeah, you got the gun right here. If you look on the handle, there is a slot right there, which you peg in right there on the back of the boombox. Just peg that in like so. 
and there you go. But man, I love this boom box. Look at the details on this thing. They went all out. The sculpted detail is amazing. You got the volume button, the radio dial, all the little black paint applications. There's some chrome right there. I didn't even notice. Oh, that's not chrome. My bad. It's actually, you're looking straight through the figure to my white background. I thought that was chrome. Uh, I'm not perfect. But yeah, this looks so cool. And these speakers that were here on the back of the legs, like I said, they look like tweeters or woofers now. I love it. He looks awesome. So there we have the brand new Kingdom Blaster with Generation 1 Blaster. Now, how cool is that? That is so awesome. That brings so much joy to this old G1er. So there you go, guys. There is Blaster in boombox mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Blaster and Eject with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Blaster and Eject, and my freshly toy hacked War for Cybertron Kingdom tracks with Larkin's Lair upgrades. The Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Blaster with Eject is a great Transformers 2 pack. My only complaint is the fact that Eject here is made out of translucent plastic. If he was not, this set would be 100% perfection. Another minor nitpick, which is no real biggie whatsoever, is the fact that they've changed the weaponry now that blast effects don't work. So I'm not sure if Blaster here was meant to be in the Kingdom line or possibly Legacy. I just find it odd that blast effects now do not work with the weapon. But still, as I said, this figure set is damn near perfect, and I love them. So there you go, guys. The Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Blaster with Eject. So, does the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Blaster with Eject belong in your collection? Absolutely. I love this figure. Blaster has an awesome robot mode, fantastic alt mode. Eject, on the other hand, good figure. I just wish they didn't use that blasted translucent plastic. I just can't wrap my head around why they did that. But other than that, Kingdom is ending on a high note with this figure set, and I couldn't be happier. So yeah, you see Blaster and Eject on the shelf, pick them up. You are not going to be disappointed. And I also want to give another huge shout out to Big Boy Collectibles. As I said in the intro, it's a shop I've never went to before. Blaster was my first purchase with them. Definitely won't be my last. They outstanding and I'll put a link to them in the description of this video. Now guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also if you're in any position to help out the channel I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube and I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it is your support that helps keep this channel growing. Once again guys this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah!